Anytime you get a new ESC or a new receiver, a uh, new transmitter, any any of those three, you always want to set the throttle endpoints on the ESC with the transmitter. Uh, so uh, you need to make sure that the transmitter's on, make sure rotation, everything's correct. Uh, I do have a video about setting the correct rotation, but on ESCs such as the Hobby Wing, there's a reset button, so or a set button. So you wanna press and hold that button and then you want to make sure everything's engaged. So once you do that, you're gonna get a few little chimes, you're gonna get a blinking light, and at this point, you want to make sure that the throttle is set to neutral. So once the throttle is set to neutral, you press it again. Now you're gonna go full throttle. You will press it again. And then it'll beep twice, you wanna go full reverse. Press it again, and you're ready to go. And now I'm gonna backtrack a little. So the reason why setting the correct rotation is very important is when you go forward, you wanna go forward, but then when you brake, you want it to just stop. And that's it. Now I have reverse disengaged here, but if you had reverse, then it would be going in reverse. The reason why you wanna make sure that the rotation is correct is for the following reason. If it's not, you're gonna go forward, but then when you go to brake, it's just going to accelerate in reverse. It's gonna take off. And what you're gonna notice is that when it takes off in reverse, first of all, you might crash, but let's just say you don't crash and then you go forward, uh, it'll actually apply the brakes and then you have to go forward again and it'll go forward. That means your rotation is actually reversed. So you want to reverse the rotation. Uh, you may have to do it on the transmitter and the ESC. Uh, I do have a video, like I said about that, so I'm not gonna go into detail, but that's pretty much it. Now, what is the problem if, let's just say you get a new ESC, new RX or a new TX, and you do not go through this process? The issue is the following. Uh, when you accelerate, it could be slow to respond. When you brake, it could be slow to brake. It could just be slow to everything. Or, uh, let's just say it's in the neutral position, the vehicle may want to either creep forward or creep in reverse, either way, because the endpoints are not set properly. So, uh, this is how you set the uh, throttle, brake, and reverse endpoints. Again, uh, on the hobby wing, you are going to press and hold the set button. And then once you do that, uh, you can go ahead and just engage it and you know, turn the switch on. Uh, it should start, it should beep, release, make sure you're in neutral, press the button, go full throttle, press the button, full reverse, press the button, and you should be ready to go. Now, on the Maclan that I used to have, uh, that one was a little different. You actually would press and hold, turn on the vehicle, then release the button. You would actually go full brake, uh, press the button. Uh, then I believe it was either neutral, and then you would go full throttle. So play with them. Most of the SCs that I've worked with, it's generally neutral first, full throttle, then full brake but you could have some that are different uh, on the Tamiya ESCs. I think you're supposed to go full throttle first. Uh, so do read the manual, see which one it tells you, but that's generally all you have to do. Hobby wing, super easy. Again, press and hold the button, turn on the car, neutral position, push the button, full throttle, push the button, full brake, push the button, and you're ready to roll. Well. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was useful and informative or at least entertaining. Uh, please subscribe if you have not and I'll catch you in the next one.